Well, it's the one really meeting where there's a focus on the manufacturing and production of optics in the United States. And uh, people think that manufacturing has fled the country, but we look at a good number of companies still uh, manufacturing optics. And I think uh, with the emphasis on uh, manufacturing returning to the U.S., there's hope that actually that will there will be even more optics manufacturing in the U.S. Well, OptiFab is a very important customer for us because we do a lot of things uh, in conjunction with these people. We do simple things like stripping and replating of different diamond tools, and then we also supply uh, equipment, machines, and more important, diamond slurries. At the OptiFab show, we want to present all the new uh, machines which we provide for the optical industry and uh, hope to uh, give some fresh ideas into the American market, so how to process uh, the glass and all the different mediums. So this meeting is meant to help people understand the latest in equipment, the latest trends in optics, free form, additive manufacturing, all these new advanced manufacturing technologies. Give them a glimpse of that so that they can prepare their companies to be part of the revolution, the new industry 4.0 revolution. OptiFab is important to the world because it, well, it, it's in the name. Uh, this is the uh, conference dedicated to making things in optics. And uh, in the end, that's what we do. We can do research and we can do the math. At the end of the day, we need to build things. Uh, it drives the economy and, and, it, and it drives the field into a, a better future. The OptiFab is a great show. So to communicate, to get together with all the um, people from the American market, our customers um, and so on. Of course, Rochester, of course, it's, um, yeah, it's a part of the, of the optical industry in the world. So I hope people catch the sense that there is this optimism in the industry. We're here in the cradle of optics in the US, going way back where actually probably defense needs drove optics in Rochester initially. Hopefully uh, now it's consumer products are driving it. <laughs>